after you hit subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell as well as stay tuned at the end of the video for the question of the day. Let's go! Baby first, you want me to tell you what I think about the baby first? <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Well, I suggest you sit down and hold tight because I'm gonna tell you all about these baby furs. <laughs> What's going on my fellow fuzz buds? Zubba the Circle here and I'm back with another video just to educate my people. And as you can see in that little comment down there in the dibbly below or not in the dibbly below on this screen that you see right here, I saw one of the comments that, you know, one of you guys was just asking me a question and instead of doing a super long and elaborate paragraph as to, you know, my take on the subject matter, I'm like, you know what, I'll handpick that and I'll make a video about it. So yeah, I'm going to actually be doing that from now on more and more. So if you guys have some questions in the comments and stuff like that or statements that you want to make and that I think that I could elaborate on it and actually, you know, spend my time saying it in the video instead of typing all this stuff out, then yeah, go ahead and do that and stuff like that will be happening as it happens. But let's get on the subject of these good old baby furs. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen, you know, anything about that. You know, just like the younger furries and stuff like that where, you know, it'll be like a drawing of like, you know, this cute little baby and it's all adorable. They've got a little binky in their mouth and they're just sitting there babbling and cooing and doing all of this wonderful baby little things. And that is completely, completely fine. But I do know what's the deeper meaning behind someone asking me just what I think about this subject. Because there are two sides to the whole baby fur criteria. And of course, that is the safe for work and the not so safe for work. And of course, I am going to give my take on both of these. Now, with the safe for work, I say, you know, it's 100% completely fine because having babies in the fandom, that is all perfectly well and good. I am a proud father of a child. She's not a member of the fandom, but I am a father, so you know, babies aren't a bad thing. You know, like, if you have made characters that are younger or that you know are baby characters, then that is all well and good because, you know, it's your character. You're free to do with it what you want. But then there is the stigma. And that's when you start to cross the baby fur, which is something that's nice and clean. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. And then something that is not so clean. And uh, yes, that's when the good old fetishes are released. And of course, like I said, like I have said in the past many, 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 many times, fetishes are very taboo subject matters whenever it comes to fandoms as a whole. It can dampen the fandom and you know that just creates a negative image and negative energy in the fandom as a whole. So it's best to kind of shy away from those things. Now, my take on it, I think that, you know, when you have the baby furs and you're putting emphasis on like, you know, the dirty diapers and stuff like that, that's when it starts to not be so okay because as we all know, clean babies are perfectly fine. You know, they're cute, they're adorable. You want to hug them and pinch their cheeks and stuff like that. And it's all well and good. And they're just giggling and going on and doing all that stuff. But whenever you know you got this baby character and they got this really big filled diaper of the good old waist, then yeah, it is not necessarily so much of a good thing. And some people find a fascination with that. And I am just not okay with that. I mean, that's just me personally. I mean, you guys have your own opinions and then I have mine. That's just my personal preference. When it comes to those kind of, you know, bodily wastes and stuff like that, that's just very, very uncomfortable. And I don't see how people can have a fascination with that. Like I say, I don't understand it, nor do I want anybody to go in detail about that. Just leave that as it is. But I will say crossing that with babies is super, 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 not okay. That is not okay, and I do not condone that in any way, shape, or form because that is just bad, 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 bad. If you're going to have your fetish stuff, please, please, please keep it away from the babies. Good God. Because, <laughs> like, you know, adults can be adults, and that's all well and good, but there's a boundary because that's adults being adults. 
and leave the children as they are. And you know, when you start to cross these things, that's just when it starts to not be okay. Because as we know, when it comes to babies, dirty diapers need to be changed as quickly as possible. And you know, I'm pretty sure if you've seen these, you know, you've probably seen, you know, drawings where, you know, they got the great big diaper or whatever, and I'm not gonna have, um, images on the screen because I don't want to exploit anybody for drawing these things and also I'm not going to draw it myself just to prove a point. I have drawn a baby character before but of course that was a clean baby and I was perfectly okay with that because it's cute and adorable there's nothing nasty disgusting or anything like that about it because babies are perfectly fine just keep the fetish subject matter away from the babies go do that somewhere else in your own time and keep it away from the babies because babies that's a very touchy subject and not just because I am a father now, but in general, babies, that is a very touchy subject and you don't need to have that kind of material on the little youths. You gotta set a good example for these people, yo. So yeah, just no, that is, <laughs> I guess that's just my take on the whole baby furs as a whole. Keep it clean. I say that in my outro and stuff, and when it comes to the baby furs, I mean that with every stretch of the good old imagination. Keep it clean, nah. Even though I've since changed that to keep it PG-13 because that's me talking about my art and like if somebody wanted to draw something that was a little on the risque side, I don't think that I would mind it any. Just don't cross any boundaries. <laughs> but as far as the baby first, keep it clean, keep it clean, keep it clean. It's perfectly okay as long as you keep it clean, nah. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and close this so if you like this video, go ahead and scratch that like button so that I can know to post my awesome content in the future. You want to talk to me? Have some Twitter. You want to stay updated as well as know when the next Q&A is going to be? Have for affinity. One of y'all fan artists, I'm with the circle. Fan artists, always welcome. Keep it PG-13. Nah. But as always, my name is Abba the circle, and I'm out of here. Pfft, la 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 la. Question of the day. Hmm. How old is your persona? Not you yourself, but your persona as a character. Post your thingies down there in the W below and I'll share my thoughts with you guys. Wow.